Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today's video is going to be a review on a new spring 2017 makeup item and it is the NARS Unfiltered 2 palette. I'm going to show you here. Uh, the packaging is mirrored, which is really pretty, but it also reflects a lot. <laughs> So as you can see, it is really pretty, but it is mirrored and it's really hard to show on camera because of the reflection, but it does say Narcissist on it. And I really liked the packaging for this. As you know, NARS has beautiful packaging, but I find the more that you use a product, the material that it's made out of just gets really scratched and smudged, even though it's beautiful when it first comes out of the packaging, it can kind of get ruined. And they didn't use the same material on this one. Even the back of it is just like a plain plastic packaging as opposed to the regular, I don't even know what material this is, but it is different and it is really pretty. It's just really hard to show it without blinding you with the lights and everything behind it. So it is a limited edition cheek palette and I ended up getting it on Cyber Monday, I think is when they started like a pre glimpse into the new spring products that are going to be coming out so I'm not sure on the exact release date on this but if I find out I will link it down below in the description box for you but basically NARS is coming out with two limited edition cheek palettes they are the NARS unfiltered cheek palettes I believe is what they're called there's two there's volume one and volume two I got the second one which is a bunch of pinks and peaches because those are the kinds of blushes that I tend to gravitate towards the volume one, I believe, is more um, red and plummy shades, although I'm not 100% sure because the image that you see on Sephora, the colors look really vibrant. And as you can see from this one, they are still beautiful, but they are toned down a lot more. Like, like this one here almost looks like a really hot pink online, but it's more of like a mid-tone bluish pink. In real life, it's still beautiful, but when you are looking, just keep that in mind that the colors aren't as vibrant as they show on the Sephora website. As for how much product you get in it, you get six pans, and I believe they are 0.12 of an ounce. So a regular blush is, I think, 0.16 ounces. Yes, 0.16 of an ounce. So this is a regular size one here. This is in the shade Amour. These are priced at $38 each. This entire palette, which you get six blushes at 0.12 of an ounce instead of 0.16, is $79. So it's an amazing deal. You get six NARS blushes, which the formula of NARS blushes are one of my absolute favorite. They're absolutely phenomenal. I find, um, at least with these ones, they are a little more sheer to start out with, but you can easily blend them up, which I actually prefer with a blush because I don't like to dip it in and then end up having this huge vibrant streak across my face because it's a lot harder to blend it out. At least with this, you can start out sheer, and if you want to add more, you can. So I find it's a lot easier to do that than to try and take away. So that doesn't bother me about these. I know my Amour, Amour blush is a little more pigmented, so I really have to be careful with this one, but it is a beautiful color still. So as for the actual shades in here, you have actually one shade in here is actually a regular shade that they sell, which is Hot Sand, which I do believe is this one. And then all of the other four are new limited edition ones. So you have Conquest, Undefeated, Power Play, Candid, Fame, and then Hot Sands. So as you can see, they are all nice cool tone pinks and peaches, which are my absolute favorite, like I said earlier. And as for the formula, you have two matte ones, which are Conquest and Power Play, and then Candid, Undefeated, Hot Sand, and Fame are a more shimmery finish, which is one of my favorites. I like a little bit of shimmer in my blush. It just gives a little more pop to the cheeks, which I think is absolutely beautiful, especially in the spring and summer when everyone's more about that glow look. So I'm just going to swatch them for you so you can see what they look like. And I am going to do two swatches because like I said, they do start out quite sheer and usually uh, two coats is what I will do with them. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see these, but this first one here is Conquest, and it's a really light peachy color, so if you're really fair, this will be really, really pretty. 
Um, I think if you have darker skin, this might be a little too light for you. Um, but this one here is undefeated and it's one of those really pretty shimmery ones that I was talking about. This would be really pretty as a blush topper or depending on your skin tone as a really pretty highlight because this is two um, swatches on top of another. You would be able to go in with the first one and it would just be a really pretty pearly pink highlight. This one right here is Power Play and that's the mid-tone pink color. This one here is Hot Sands. And just like the undefeated one here, I think this would be really pretty for a blush topper or a highlight. I could probably use this one as a highlight if I ever decided to tan up my skin, but I still think it'd be a little too champagne-y for mine. So I would definitely use this as a blush topper. And then you have Fame, which is your typical peachy color that I absolutely love in the summer. And then this last one is Candid, which is actually the one that I'm wearing today. It's just really pretty mauve color which is one of my favorites for the fall so I've been wearing this one non-stop for about the past week ever since I got this palette in the mail and I really like it. It lasts all day which I already kind of knew from the NARS blushes that I have already that they are amazing quality and the staying power is amazing. So that's about it that I have to say about this palette. Like I said it was just going to be a quick little review on it. Um, I touched on the packaging, which I think the packaging is great, especially if you're going to travel or you just want one palette with all of your blushes in one so you don't have them in multiple spaces and want to save space. This is a great palette for that. It has a mirror and everything on the inside, so it's great for travel. Like If you want more than one blush, if you're like me, I don't always like to wear the same one. I like to have options, so this is a really good deal for that. Also, the amount of product you get in there, I think it's about... I want to say like 70 to 75 percent uh, the amount that you get in a regular size one and you get six of them for $79. Like I said one is usually 38 It's an amazing deal. If you love NARS and you were trying to justify if you really needed to get this and you collect makeup I say go for it. If you were just getting into makeup and you want a couple of blushes but you didn't know where to start and you don't really want to spend $30 on one blush, I would highly recommend this. It is $79, so it is a little more expensive, but you're getting six blushes and two of them you can use as highlights. So really for $79, you can get six blushes, two highlighters, and it's just so versatile and travel friendly that it's that you're really going to get your money's worth out of it. So all that being said, I definitely think this is a hit. I think that if you were just starting out in makeup or you already have tons of makeup and you just collected, this is a great palette to have. But NARS is an amazing brand. They have amazing formula, the pigmentation, everything about them has been a hit for me so far. But that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe before you leave so you're notified when I upload my next video. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.